Hey love, so it's your girl April and this is going to be another cheapskate haul video. So yes you guys, for those of you who have been requesting them, I have been doing some shopping, kind of getting addicted to these Dollar Tree stores, but what's cool about it is you always find something that's really useful and you cannot pass up anything that's really good for a dollar. I do have like a little DIY, DIY, DIY project that I do have coming up for like really inexpensive stuff. I probably have like about 30 head scars and I know for those of you probably like where do you store all of those things, I will show you in an upcoming DIY video of where you can or just an easy way to store your scarves um and yeah or I probably can show you like right about now in this video but first I'll get to this so I did go to the Dollar Tree and I found some really cool stuff and I did go to a 99 cent store and I found some new head wraps but anyway for the Dollar Tree so this is like from a couple different ones so this one they have the pop-up hampers which are really great I love these hampers um if you go to stores like Walmart sometimes they're like five bucks and I'm really you know like they're not to me that I don't really think they're worth five bucks but it does hold two loads of laundry and they are a dollar they're airflow mesh so I, I like these because you can give each one of your kids one and they can store it in their room opposed to stacking up laundry in the laundry room and I have seen these as I was leaving out I have like this massive selection of sunglasses so when I see this these they have like some really cute ones at this Dollar Tree that I went to today I was like, oh, these are super cute. I'm going to get these. I love oversized sunglasses. And this is going to be for an upcoming project. So keep that in mind that it will be an upcoming project. So I do have this. These are plastic. You can get a glass one if you prefer. It's up to you. But this is going to be part of the project. And this is more or less like in a gift wrapping section. This is like for parties and things like that. These are like really cool platters. They have designs on them, but they're, like I said, a dollar. But this is for a little project that I'm going to be showing you guys in the next few days. I also did come across these ones here, which are the metal ones. And these have pretty little engraving on them. I do have three of these. And these are also going to be part of a project as well for DIY. So that will be also what you guys are going to be seeing. Now they did have some nice new baskets. And my kitchen is like a color red and black and kind of like brown. But it's like this weird red. It's not like a bright red. It's more or less like a very dark red. And it's kind of hard to find, especially at any type of cheap store. So when I seen these, I was like, okay, these are perfect. This is the perfect color red and I love to keep everything organized so I do like to buy certain baskets for certain things so I did see these and this is the color red of my kitchen they have these which are really cute and I'm going to just put these in my kitchen and store like the napkins in them I really think that these are awesome for napkins but these right here are also at the Dollar Tree available very pretty Christmas ornaments I did get them in gold and as well as silver so for a dollar these are really really nice normally these will run you a pretty penny and this is something that you can actually make yourself but for only a buck this will cost you more to make than only a dollar so I do like these a lot I have several of these and these make great decorative items for your Christmas tree as well as just um, other items as well so I do have a project that I'm going to be doing with these aren't they like really really cool they are so pretty they're like little kind of like they're just very very mosaic I love the glass on them and for a dollar oh my god so I have a bunch of those in here as well as kind of like a clear one that has kind of like frosting on it so these are going to be in a project so if you guys see these at the Dollar Tree get about six or seven because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with them Monty is going to be Harley Quinn for um Halloween and Halloween costumes are really expensive. We did see a Harley Quinn outfit for her, which was $59. And I'm sorry, but ain't nobody about to pay $59. Plus, it didn't even come, I think it came with hair. Either way, the Harley Quinn outfit from Suicide Squad is just a shirt that says Daddy's Little Monster and a pair of red and blue shorts. Simply, simple to make. Um, now, Mumsy does have extension braids in her hair, so there's no way I'm gonna get a wig over top her hair. But, so I've seen these at the Dollar Tree, and these are basically headbands. So I got two of them to stack together, one in front of the other. And I'm just going to go ahead and get some of that 99 cents can of hairspray that you can get at, like, Party City. And I'm going to get a, pair of, a can of blue and a can of 
pink, hot pink. Like these rocks, which are really nice. These are just the decorative stones. And this is also going to be a part of the project. They do have glass ones, but I was going for these because the white looked really, really nice opposed to the glass. Sometimes when you have too much of a glare, it's just a little bit too much. So I figured that this would kind of like dull, not even dull, but make it look a little bit more classy as the project we're about to do, guys. This one is another one, which is really great to put in my kitchen because this is like a weird kind of hard color to find sometimes. They normally have like bright red. So this kind of stuff, like I have things on my counter that is just kind of easy access to the kids, but they're on the counter and I am like one who just likes everything to be organized. So put these in there. I don't really buy too many candles from the Dollar Tree because they never smell, which is unfortunate. So I seen these air fresh and I'm hoping that they smell. Um, first of all, I got a mess of them. I got four of them. Three are pumpkin flavor, or pumpkin scented, pumpkin spice. I went for the pumpkin because for one, it's a stronger scent, so I'm guaranteed to have some type of smell aroma throughout my house with these. Just getting the floral ones from like the Dollar Tree, they always, their smell is not as potent, so you won't really be able to smell it as strong. When so I get any kind of cheap candles, I always go for the candles that have like the stronger scents, opposed to like anything floral or fruity because they're a little bit hard to smell, especially when they're really cheap. And I did get an apple spice one as well apple cinnamon which also has a really really strong smell as well so you're guaranteed to have some type of scent in your house now on to the 99 cents only store i'm so i was so excited to see these like um you gotta like keep going back and forth even if it's the same one so you guys remember from the last time i found like a bunch of makeup at the 99 cent only store so i don't even know why i went back and looked through that damn bin because i really don't want or need anything but i did see these and these are wet and wild eyeshadow palettes these are the wet and wild color icon eyeshadow collections for 99 cents so hey even though i didn't need it it was a dollar so of course it'll be it'll go to someone who needs it wants it whatever you know what i'm saying i never can pass up a good buck so yes wet and wild color icon palettes really really like amazing they had a bunch of new wet and wild stuff and then they had this wet and wild brush and i was like okay yes girl get your dollars worth i'm just saying and then I found this adhesive glue that will suffice as the E6000 for the project. They have some new um, Infinity Scarves. You guys know I got a bunch of them last time from the 99 cent store. Of course, they're not 99 cents. They're $1.99, but I really don't care. This one that I have on today is actually one of those. I cut it open and just made it into a regular scarf. But they had some new colors, so now I have the topish color gray the sports color gray the hot pink a navy blue and now i have a black one and you can always use a great black one i love this mustard yellow which is really a pretty color and also this burgundy-ish wine color which is also a great color these are like great um fall colors but either way i love these scarves like i have a million scarves and these just really really did it for me so i did get three of these which is also part of a project so yes yeah, Mess. But on the back of my door is a rack, and on the rack it does have several hooks. It has six hooks, but I really don't need to use the hooks. So what I do is I actually hang them with shower curtain rods, and this is like a really great placement for them. This is just easy storage, and I'll show you up close and personal so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. Okay, so like I was saying, um this rack i did get it for three bucks at one of these little cheap stores i love it in arizona because you can find these stores basically anywhere that they sell really really cheap stuff but you can find these kind of racks just about anywhere um it doesn't have to be this exact one per se but they're really great because you can hang them over your door they do have some at the dollar tree they're not as big but they do have some that i've seen they may not be as sturdy but like i said they do have some so what you can get from the dollar tree are the shower curtain hooks right here and mine's has I have mine's full with all the exact same shower hooks which are the metal ones and I'll just take one off so you guys can see exactly what they look like so they look just like this at the Dollar Tree and you can get like they they're a dollar and you get 12 I believe in a pack I do believe it's 12 and I, I prefer these over the plastic rings because for one if you see they do fit very nicely on a rack you can always make yourself a rack but they're less bulky than the actual 
plastic ones and I just think that they hang a lot neater now I also did have these on a hanger so if you have like a clothing hanger um, you can use a plastic one um, I also use these and had them hanging from the clothing hanger the only downfall about that is when you hang it up they kind of always shift to one side and so it kind of like destroys the hanger kind of makes it look a little bit bulky and messy so when I seen this I had the idea of just storing my headscarves. This is like one of my alternatives to hanging my headscarves, okay? And each one of my headscarves are super long, so it does get really heavy. So you do want something that's really sturdy and that could hold. So I would highly suggest getting you like one of these racks and hanging them over your door and getting these type of shower curtain hooks. These um, shower curtain hooks are a lot better than the ones at the Dollar Tree that are plastic because they're really bulky and they don't lay flat like these. But yeah, you can hang more than what I have on here because as you can see, I do have spaces up on the top but the metal ones also the metal shower hooks also like I said um, are less bulky you can get more on here and they just look a lot better guys I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree video I probably was all over the place getting clothing rack and everything like that but that's just one of the ways that you can hang your head scarves especially if you have a lot of them or even your purses as well if you don't have a lot of space in your home you can always save space by just hanging things in certain areas and just making more room for yourself so on that note stay diva and diva delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe I love you guys and I'll see you soon